What's going on everybody, Mitch here, and today we're going to be looking at some community maps for Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. And this is something I was really excited for from the very beginning once Rising Storm 2 was announced. I knew how talented the Red Orchestra and Rising Storm 1 community was, so I knew they would carry over to Rising Storm 2 and make some really awesome stuff. And with Steam Workshop being recently added to the Rising Storm 2 page, maps are starting to trickle in and onto servers. I figured we'd check out some of the best community made maps out there right now. And the first map we're going to look at today is currently available on the Steam Workshop. It comes from Steam user Waitamus. And this map may look familiar to some of you because that's the point. It's a conversion or a remake of the Battlefield Vietnam map Operation Irving and it shares the same name. Now unfortunately I do not have Battlefield Vietnam on my computer anymore so I can't physically go back and look but I did check out some old videos of it because I couldn't physically remember off the top of my head. What the old Operation Irving map looked like. But looking at the old videos, it looks like he did a really good job. I mean, all these maps that we're going to talk about are still work in progress, including this one, as you can see in the top left corner. But he got the layout of the old map pretty much spot on. It's two opposing hills with a valley in the middle that are connected by a long bridge. And of course, teams start on opposite sides. For the Americans, though, they do have an airbase that is separated by a large spans of water. And at this point, as far as I can tell, there are no off-map call-ins. Because the objectives are basically in a straight line, it is a fairly balanced map. Although, if you have a very skilled American team, they can get the upper hand by using their helicopters to land behind enemy lines. But from watching several maps play out, it's quite possible for both sides to win. Moving on, the next map I want to look at was created by Steam user Tyler Parentheses Vacation. I don't know, is that... Can you change your name on Steam? He on vacation or is his name always vacation it's confusing but besides his name this is a very interesting map one i really do enjoy it's probably one of my favorite custom maps at this point now something that's unique about this map is the u.s is on defense the americans spawn slightly outside of one of their fobs and they can usually get there before the vietnamese and as far as the objectives go this map is very similar to hill 937 where you have two spawn points and each spawn point has their own set of objectives in front of them. Unlike Kill 937 where they culminate into one objective, this one each side has its final objective so both sides need to succeed to win. Now if you want to see how to get to those objectives that could be a little difficult because the end game map for this map is not completed yet. Like I said this is a work in progress, all these maps are, so don't hold it against it but you can't see the terrain on your map. You'll just the objective locations and everything else will be black as pictured on the screen. The one issue as far as gameplay goes with this map is it may be skewed towards the Americans a little bit more. I have seen the Vietnamese win. It was a very dominant team and they didn't win by capturing the objectives. They won by draining the Americans of their tickets. As far as visuals and concept go, it's a really cool idea. I like that the Americans are on defense on a map. But as you can see in the top left corner, the lighting still does need some rework. It's very yellow. And I think I understand what the creator of this map was going for with all the smoke and yellowness in this map. I mean, you got villages on fire, so there should be a lot of smoke in the area. Maybe that's what he was leaning towards, possibly. Uh, but there's definitely some tweaking need to be done. With that said, it is a very fun and enjoyable map. The lighting issue per se is not an issue at all while you're playing it. And now personally, I think this map is more fun on the American side and easier on the American side. But it's not impossible to have fun and win on the Vietnamese side either. Now this next map, which I'm probably going to butcher the name for, Shung Mu, was created by Steam user North Dumpling. And this map is the only map I haven't played in a multiplayer round yet, but I have looked around it. And it is probably one of the most creative, visually appealing maps in this video. The map is covered in a dense fog, which the area in Vietnam is known for. I mean, just go ahead and type in the name in Google, and every picture you get, dense fog. It may be a little bit overdone, but I can imagine it causes some very tense fights because you may not see somebody until you're right up on them. And when I was talking about visually appealing, I wasn't talking about that jump scare there waiting to happen. I was talking about things like this. He put a damn helicopter in a tree. And made a sniper's nest out of it. That is really freaking cool. And there's a lot of scenery on this map that is really cool. But like I said, I have not played this map in a multiplayer match. I don't know how it actually plays. I can see how it looks like it would play. Uh, but if you have played this map, tell me what you think about it. Does it actually hold up in reality? 
And another map that decided to go with a pretty dense fog layer is Cambodian Incursion. Now like Operation Irving, this is also a Battlefield Vietnam remake and I'm sure we're going to get more in the future. This map was created by Steam user Para94 and in his own words this is his own interpretation of what that map would look like today. So it's not an exact remake but it is still a very enjoyable fun map. I played both sides on this map, it seems fairly balanced, both sides have the possibility to win. As always, if you have a really good team, it's going to be a lot easier. Now there are a couple of things I don't like this map, and you know, as always, I will keep saying this, these are all work in progress, is the fog layer. It seems very dense. A lot of these maps have very dense fog layers. I don't know if that is for aesthetic reasons or performance reasons. But also with this map, I noticed that there are some areas that seem like you should be able to get to, but due to the steepness of the hills or the mountains, you're unable to climb them and get to those locations easily. And that may have been a design choice. The particular area I'm talking about has two bridges, one a rope bridge and one a bigger bridge. Uh, not a very big bridge, but a, a bigger than the rope bridge uh, that you have to cross to get to this next objective. And of course, with having only two spots where you can come in, the enemy are camping it and just gunning anybody going for that bridge down. Now, there are areas currently that you can... Uh, avoid the bridges at but you have to find them and it is a struggle and it just does not seem like a design intended struggle this map offers some very nice visuals and it may be the best map as far as balance goes it's either this map or our next map Acusto's plantation was made by steam user i'm gonna call him nimitz 1104 i met 1104 i'm not sure going on screen so you make your determination it's definitely the first night map i've come across but this may be the best balanced community map it's hard to say as far as the objectives go the vietnamese are on defense with the u.s pushing the first objective which is a watchtower following that if they make it past the watchtower they come up to the plantation itself which is, is usually where the u.s gets hung up followed by that they get split off into two objectives two little small village things and then they come back together again to finish at the bridge this map is a struggle for both the u.s and the vietnamese side to win that right there tells me it's pretty well balanced this map does have some visual bugs like many of the community made maps a lot of them do have lighting issues as far as their shadows go uh, this one has this and I've also noticed this map has an issue audio-wise with the gunship and the Phantom, where the audio will cut in and out. And often you won't even hear the gunship's gun. But yeah guys, that's going to do it for this video. Which of these maps do you guys like the most? Or if there's a map I left out that you guys like, please let me know in the comments below. But until next time, have a great one. Later.